The first thing I want to talk about um, is we have decided to rebrand our logo. Um, the original logo that we had done for um, Port Macquarie Performing Arts and then War and Port Macquarie Performing Arts, when I started the business, I said to the graphic designer, let's do something where at the beach, so we're nautical, let's do something that reflects being beachside and when I think back on it, I think that's just crazy because it's got nothing to do with dance, but that's what the waves and things in the current logo, that's what that represents. Now that we're a little bit further along, I had to think strategically about what we're about as a ballet school, as a dance school, and it's really not the beach. <laughs> um, because we've never done class on the beach, I know that's a good idea. Um, so I thought I would think about what we really are about and where we want to go and what we want to do and where we want to take ourselves. And I wanted to have a logo that would reflect that. So I wanted a logo that would be fun but yet professional, that would have room for growth and that would um, give us room to have expanding opportunities and possibilities for the kids and the performing and, and what we want to do. I also, in the new year, want to expand our Twinkle Toes and Mini Men program to more than just Warhope and Port Macquarie. We already do Bonnie Hills. I would like to be able to work a little bit further north, so the Telegraph Point area. I'd also like to go a little bit further west, perhaps by Barra Beachwood. I haven't done all of the research yet into where I want to go, but in thinking about it, because we were Port Macquarie Performing Arts and then we became Warhope and Port Macquarie Performing Arts, before we go too far down the track and become Warhope and Telegraph Point and Bonnie Hills and Port Macquarie and Barbara Performing Arts, I thought it would be best to pull it back to Port Macquarie Performing Arts because the majority of our classes are in Port Macquarie and um, all of the other classes from that kind of branch out from that. Um, in saying this and in doing this, I feel very anxious because I'm from Warhope and I'm and very proud to be from Warhope and I love Warhope. And you should have seen my parents' face when I said I'm dropping the Warhope off the Warhope of Port Performing Arts. But just so that you know and so that you can use these positive words when you're talking about it with other people so that there's not too much negativity around it, it is just really because it was going to get too, too much of a mouthful to include all the things that we we're going to do. So. Port Macquarie Performing Arts. I was also concerned that when we took the kids to the Australian Dance Festival in Sydney and we performed, or any time we actually performed outside the area, people would say, welcome to the stage. <laughs> What's your beer performing arts? <laughs> and every time I go, <sighs> So Port Macquarie Performing Arts is a little bit more concise. So. Daniel's going to help me out tonight with my clicking, but I'm hoping that this is going to reveal our new logo. Oh! That's exciting. I'm glad you reported. So, I wanted something that was very dense, but I also wanted something that had scope for drama and scope for singing because we do so much of that. And with our performances and our musicals at the beginning of the year, we're going to be doing so much more in the future. And I also wanted it to be something that was fun and something that the kids could be proud of and something that they would want to splash across everything that they owned. So I think this says us a whole lot more than the old logo did. So we're going to have a brand new uniform that's going to have this splashed on it for all of our classes. We're going to have brand new bags and brand new lanyards and drink bottles and all that exciting stuff for the new year.